Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Think Future podcast. I'm your host, Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. Is that better? I know I start off a little fast, so I thought I'd slow down a bit. Although most people probably listen to me at two times speed anyway. So let me ask you something. Are you denying human nature in what you're doing? Are you denying human nature? And a lot of people do that. A lot of people deny human nature because they think, well, you know what? Human nature is X and X isn't great. There's a lot of things that aren't really good about humans. So let's try and design a better human. Let's try and make our humans better. So we deny human nature. We say, oh, we, you know, we can act better. We can be better. We can do better. We can uh, forget about our competitive tendencies. We can forget about our instincts. We can forget about our, uh, uh, our physical appearance. We can forget about all these things because all these things are malleable. We can change our human nature. We think that we can change our human nature. And we, 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 we say things and we do things and we act like people can easily change human natures. Like your doctor would say, oh, okay, you know, all you got to do is lose some weight. Just lose some weight. You can lose some weight. And everyone knows who's tried to lose weight that it's not that easy to lose weight. Maybe you can. I can't. So I can't change my nature. I, you know, I like, I like snacks. I like salty snacks. I like this. I like that. I, you know, I'm trying to lose weight, but it's extremely difficult to change my nature. And it's extremely difficult to change anybody's nature. Human nature is, is like, it's like embedded. It's like really, really hard to change. And not just individual human nature, humans in general, their natures are very difficult to change. We try to do all these things to say we can sort of go beyond our natures, we can change our natures, we can do things differently. But the reality is, is that human beings have a real tough time changing their natures. And a lot of times we assume that they can change their natures when they can't. They can't. It's kind of like uh, communism. Right? So let's talk about political example. Is that, you know, communism and communes were tried, you know, hundreds of communities across the United States and elsewhere in the world were tried. Kibbutzes were tried. All of these communistic types of arrangements were tried all over the world and in America. And all of them, all of them failed. All of them, all of them. Now, there's ones that were driven by communism and there's ones that were driven by religion but in each one of these communes where you know everybody works for everybody works for everybody else nobody you know nobody works more than anybody else or everybody helps everybody else and there's there's not supposed to be any competition and there's not supposed to be this and that's supposed and they're like we're trying to change human nature in these communes we're trying to get people to act differently from the way humans have been and are for all this time and the reality is, is that we can't, we can't. Human beings can't change. The nature of humans is the same. So in all of these communities, the ones that were community-based failed after two years and the ones that were religious-based failed after 20 years. And the reality is that they failed. They're not around anymore because human nature crushed it, crushed it. So. There are so many people out there and there's so many new regimes and styles and politics and this and that trying to say that we need to have a better nature. We need to change our human nature. We need to do this. We need to do that. We need to change human nature. But the reality is, is that human nature is unchanging. Human beings are the way they are. And systems that work with human nature, products that work with human nature, services that work with human nature, all of these things that work with human nature work. And all those things that are trying to get people to change their human nature maybe work for a little while, but then they fail. We have to stop denying the nature of humans. We have to look at human beings as they are and go, this is what they're like, right? This is what they're like. This person is like that. I mean, I'll give you an example myself. So, I am bald. You can see, if you are watching the video, that I am bald. And I started losing my hair early in my, my 20s and 30s, right? My, maybe around 25, I started losing my hair. And my, my dad uh, had this, like the front part, he was losing the front part, and my, and my, my uh, 
and my grandfather on my mom's side was losing the back part. So, you know, I, genetically, I am going to be bald. There's, there's no denying it. There's no denying it. That's just that's the way it is, right? And I could have gone out and bought, you know, a toupee. I could have got a wig. I could have got a Shatner Turbo 2000. Did I comb over a few remaining strands? No, I didn't do any of that because that is my nature. My nature is to be bald, right? And the sooner I understood that that was my nature, the sooner I accepted that that was my nature, the sooner I could just get on with it and do other things in my life. I didn't need to worry about my hair because my hair is what my hair is. My hair is my hair. That is my nature. That is part of me, a thing I cannot change, right? Maybe I can change my weight. Maybe I can change uh, my physical ability. Maybe I can change my muscles, my muscle ratio, whatever. I can't change the length of my arm. I can't change how tall I am. There's some things that I can't change. Well, some things I can change. I, I figured I was reading the other day that there's this new operation that can radically change your height. They actually go in there and they break your legs and they put an insert in, and over time, they make you taller. But the reality is, is think about how much pain and suffering you're going to have to go through to be taller. Wouldn't it be easier to just accept your height? And I think that's what happens to us a lot of times. It's like our brains think of ourselves as something other than we really are. And I've talked about this before when I talk about reality groups, is that a lot of times we fool ourselves into thinking that we're something that we're not, right? We're not, we don't look at the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is I'm a bald guy. So I've come to terms with the fact that I'm a bald guy. And this is me. I am a bald man, right? So, so many of us, have not come to terms with what we actually are, what we are. And there's some things that are biological. We cannot change these things. We can't. It doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter how we dress. It doesn't matter how we act. These are biological things that make us who we are. These are things that are so embedded in our brains and in our bodies that there is absolutely nothing else we can do with them. Absolutely nothing else. And the thing is, if we, even if we try to do these things, Will we be happy with the results of somehow going all the way there? And I'll, 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 I'll close with this. So in the culture series and some other series, I've been reading the series uh, about a really far, 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 far future where humans are immortal. They can do all these amazing things. They can swap out bodies. They can change body parts, blah, 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 blah. And there's still, but there's still a core of humanity of, of being a human within all of this thinking. And I don't think it's just... I don't think it's just for the book itself or the novel or the, the, the science fiction itself to, so that we have like characters that we, can, that we can relate to. I think it's more along the lines of, you know, there is a core nugget of something that we know of as human nature and everyone has their own human nature. And I think if we try to stray too far from this human nature, from understanding that humans are X and there will probably already always be X, no matter how, they changed the way they act. There's still a core of X in there as a human being. Then if we still understand that as a human being, then that, that is, we have to appeal to that human being. We can't expect it to go beyond its nature because it will always eventually revert back to its nature. And the nature of the human is reality. So basically what I'm saying is we have to understand Human nature is reality, and reality really holds sway over everything. It doesn't matter with the way you paper it over. Reality is the name of the game. Reality is real. And some people don't believe that. Some people believe that we can change reality. But that's not the case. Reality is real, and there's nothing we can do about it. That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.